Good morning, everyone. I am in my usual uniform of H&M linen trousers and a H&M linen shirt. This is literally my like summertime favorite, especially if I've got anything that's kind of, I don't know, important, but I don't know. I just want to look smart, but still feel like me. Anyway, um, I digress. Welcome to this vlog. The reason why I'm being weird is because I'm very, very excited. Um, this is a vlog that I have dreamed, like genuine, genuinely dreamed of being able to film. Now, let's go back in time. <laughs> you might have watched on my channel where I went on a press trip two years ago, so be long before COVID, um, I went on a press trip with Elizabeth Arden and it was Carrie and I and we went to Soho Farmhouse and we stayed overnight and I had to be honest with you in that video in the fact that I had had a lot of preconceptions and things like that of what Soho Farmhouse would be like and especially staying there and I stayed overnight and I fell to, set, to literally put it like lightly I fell head over heels in love with the place like it was everything that I had wanted for such a long time. If you remember when we were in <laughs> Ali and I really like pushed the boat out for ourselves and got ourselves like a David Lloyd membership because that's the nicest place in the area. And we really wanted like a bit of a health club, um, something with a bit of atmosphere. Sadly, we never got that there. Um, <laughs> it really didn't ever sort of feel like um, a really indulgent experience, but also like there's a community, lots to do, special places to go and things like that. And when I went there and stayed overnight, uh, that was it. I was hook, line and sinker in love. And I applied for my membership in 2009, or just at the very end of 2019, I finally got all of my like references together and I applied for my membership. And I was due to find out whether I'd been accepted to the members club, because that's what it, it kind of is. Well, it absolutely is that. As we went into lockdown. <laughs> so as we went into lockdown and as the world kind of ground to a halt, everything stopped. Now, I probably wouldn't have got my membership then because it, it's a process and it takes time and you like you don't just get in like that. It doesn't matter what you do, however, whatever, you just, it takes time. But it was on hold for two years. They weren't taking any more memberships. And then in that time, we've obviously spent a lot more time um, at Soho Farmhouse. So in that time, some of our friends have moved from London to the area, so we've spent a lot more time there, and we've fallen even more in love with it, basically. And then in December of this year, so almost like exactly two years since I had applied, I got my membership. And it was a very, very, it was like the best Christmas present ever. I think I was vlogging for Vlogmas at the time when it came in, and I was just like, ah! Oh! <laughs> so anyway, I have wanted to be able to show you for a while why I love this place so much and why I just think it's wonderful. Like Ali, will, Ali and I will find any excuse to go there. One of our favorite things to do is to get up super early, drive over there, use the gym, use the spa. I like to pick up a fresh sourdough loaf from the deli. I'll have a juice, we might have some breakfast and we might spend a little bit more time there, but then we'll head home afterwards. Other times we'll take family there with us, um, we'll take friends, like if we're going on a special kind of date night with friends, we'll always ask them if they wanna go there with us because it's, it honestly is like one of our favorite places. I, I know that there'll be a lot of you, because I know that I meet a lot of you when I'm there, but I know that there'll be a lot of you being like, yes, Lydia, we know, we love it too. So pardon me if I'm like speaking to you like you don't know, but I've also wanted to show maybe the people that don't know necessarily about this place, a side of it that made me fall in love with it. As you know, you can't film there and you're not supposed to take pictures, especially in like members areas. Like you can get away with taking like a picture of you and your partner together, as long as there's no one in the background. It's to basically maintain the um, discretion and the privacy of the guests there. Um, and I understand that, I really do understand that because um, I've often seen things like leaked online where there's like someone in like, I don't know, a restaurant and they're like filming them or whatever. It keeps you kind of, what's the word, like, it gives you a, like quite a quiet confidence that you're, I don't know, in a safe place. So I understand that. However, I'm so, I'm rambling so much. Today, <laughs> we are actually heading to Soho Farmhouse with Soho House 
to preview their newest accommodation that has just been like uh, built and developed and we're going to be learning all about it when we're there. I actually went and had a little sneaky peek the other day, Carrie and I did, when um, we were having drinks there the other day. So we went and had a little sneaky peek. So Ali and I are actually going there today to have a, an experience of it, to tell you guys what it's like and um, just share a little bit of Soho Farmhouse, why it's so special. It really is like, for me, the most special of all of the houses that I've experienced. Although Greek Street has a very, very special place in my heart. I feel like there's such a vibe there. But then there's also a very, like, a very special vibe at Soho Farmhouse. And yeah, so I'm actually gonna be able to show you a little bit more. Obviously we've been told of any restrictions that we're like where we're able to film and where we're not. And just obviously also to always maintain the uh, privacy of everyone there. But I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna be able to ask them, can I film this? Is it okay to share this? And hopefully you're gonna get an insight into what it was that made me fall in love. Because even when I was there the last time, it wasn't with so her house, so I couldn't really show you too much. So this is really exciting for both Ali and I because I just think that I know you lot so like so well that I think you're gonna enjoy it. So anyway, we're heading there today. We're gonna have a little bit of lunch first. When we get there, we're gonna just stop off and have some food um, at one of the restaurants there. And then um, we've got horse riding. So this is gonna be my first time ever horse riding at Soho Farmhouse. And I've been on a horse and cart there, which is a really lovely experience. Uh, we're also having a massage today and then in the evening we are going to what they have is like a pop-up restaurant in the glass house it's basically like a giant greenhouse and at the moment they have like one night only chefs um, coming in like fake, good chefs from the area or from London or wherever they come they take over the kitchen and um, basically cook for everyone on that night so we've got one this evening for that and we'll meet the other guests that are there as well I don't know who I don't know who's going I never ask who's going to events anymore um, I used to ask all the time but now I'm just kind of like going with the flow as long as I know what time the flow starts <laughs> no, I'm joking just stealing that TikTok but yes so um, that is basically the plan of action so we're gonna head we're gonna load up the car we're gonna drive down in our defender give it a good run and um, basically get to show you around but one of the things that it, I think is really important because I've obviously had like messages since I obviously did the last video where we were um, not the last video but one of my other videos where we went and looked at a house and I got a lot of comments from people being like, you want this type of house and you want to be like this person who's like one of my friends. And I just want to say that when, when we applied for this membership, I said to Ali that I know that when we get this membership, we will want to move closer. I know it. I know it will happen. And since this has come in, Ali's now got his membership as well. And that is the main driving force. Also being closer to friends and also being closer to, to farmhouse has been like, it's kind of, when you start spending a lot more time in a certain area, you just naturally end up thinking about gravitating towards that, that space. I know that I've documented my whole life with you guys and I don't ever have to like highlight these things, but it was quite a like ferocious thing as if I'm doing something to spite someone that's my friend. And obviously I would never do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making sense and probably being a little bit defensive with this, but I just, I, I never understand where, where that, that side of things comes from. Like we naturally are gravitating to an area where we spend a lot of time and we definitely have a certain style and that's always going to be something that we're going to share and love and whatever. So it's not grounds for like one friend versus another friend or anything like that. It's just people being their natural true self and being absolutely okay with that and so we are going to be looking in that kind of area and we are really really excited about it and I'm excited to be able to share the journey with you and I'm not going to like hold anything back or anything like that it's literally just going to be the whole process from start to finish so um we've kick-started that journey I'm going to finish back in my suitcase, get all of my bits and bobs inside, grab my husband, jump in the car and probably go fairly slowly to Soho Farmhouse because our car doesn't go that quickly. <laughs> so we'll see you en route. The boot is all loaded. I've got my Dewberry boots, horse riding jacket, I've got some leggings with me. Ali is in the driving seat. Oh, look at those stripes on the ceiling. Mm, they've stayed. Yeah. Really nice. Very, very nice. Ready? 
We are just driving through Ainho, which is the village where Ali and I got married. And it's always so sad because it's obviously now been sold and um, you can't get married there anymore. And it's covered in scaffolding. Rumor has it that it's gonna be a restoration hardware, which is obviously very exciting, but I dread to think what the prices of those will be. The import charges on the furniture from America will ha have to probably go on top. And that, that furniture is already very expensive. So yes, it will be interesting to see. I don't know if it is though, I don't know for definite, but we can find out. But we are en route in the car. We've got the boot all full of our stuff. That's what's amazing about this car because you can just shove everything in. Mr. Billy Gordon is driving in the hot seat, which he made a very good point. He was like, I drove a van for 11 years. I was like, oh gosh, yeah. So you're really good at this. So we have arrived. You would have just seen that we've just had lunch at uh, the main barn, but now Mr. Millen Gordon is second time on a horse that looks like Romeo. <laughs> it's not. It's Romeo's over there. No, 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 Romeo that I ride. ride. Yeah. <laughs> looks so good. We have now finished up horse riding and I had such a great time. It was so interesting riding another horse as well because obviously I've, I've got so used to Romeo and I was I was riding William and bless him. Apparently he's like um, their horse that's a bit misunderstood and he was rescued and um, one of the things he doesn't like is he doesn't like having his face touched when he's in the stables because he feels obviously that he's in a confined space but we had such a great time together and I also I feel like I'm misunderstood a lot of the time so it was nice to be with someone who is a bit of a kindred spirit and um, as we were leaving the best thing happened I finally briefly met um, Paula from Hill House Vintage and Lady Dashwood and I also met Duncan her husband sadly they're not staying the night they were supposed to be but weren't able to in the end so I'm so so sad that um, it wasn't able to be the time where we finally get to sit and chat and just oh but at least I got to to give her a big hug and um, say hello to to Lady Dashwood which was lovely I'm now in the changing rooms at the spa I'm getting ready for a 60 minute full body massage I'm wearing my visual mood swimsuit which is um, my favorite thing to wear at farmhouse and um, then we're gonna go check out the new huts which I'm really looking forward to which is the whole reason why we're here um, and I think it's gonna be really lovely Guys, I'm in for my treatment now. I'm about to get on the bed. It's all padded out, ready for me to be face down, obviously after my surgery. I'm about to have, I think, a very, very good massage with Reiki and reflexology and crystals and everything. Oh my gosh. We have arrived at our room. <gasps> wow, oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. <gasps> so this is what I've seen online. Look at how beautiful the wooden tub is on there, babe. So we've got a lovely log burner in our room, which is beautiful, beautiful green curtains, lovely big bed. Little kitchenette over there. Ooh, we have a hamper. Ooh, Pangaea. Is it Pangaea or Pangaea? 
How lovely is that? So this will all be vegetation. So you have to remember that these have only just sort of opened up and they've obviously done a big planting plan here. So this will all be beautiful, probably a lot of wild flower and coverage, but nobody can see you here. So it's really, really lovely. You're just kind of in the middle of nowhere, completely got the whole space to yourself. Private. They're pri private, that's the word. Completely private. You've got some lovely beds there. They look very comfortable. Yeah, they do. And obviously you might be able to see the wood. It's not silvered up yet. You know what I'm like with wood that silvers up. All of the huts are like waiting. They, they basically need to be weathered and then they'll blend in with everything else here at Soho Farmhouse as well. But you've got your pick of cow shed, little shower gel there, which I love. That bath is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful cushions, a lovely little bit of sage green leather we've got the kitchenette here a little dressing table with umbrellas put the keys there these are like bifold yeah so you can Five basically slide, sliding, yeah it kind of reminds me of um when we were in the maldives when you could just open everything up so you can have that inside outside space that we love through here we have a beautiful green marble basin me hello toilet in here Lovely Lefroy Brooks hardware. You always know a place has taste when they have Lefroy Brooks. Because we have it in ours. We have it in ours. <laughs> I love this brass towel rail as well. And then we've got slippers, flip flops, all of the goodies and a big, big brass shower and all of the cow shed products as well. Look at this, Lefroy Brooks. Just about to uh, use that shower. Are you? Ooh. Right, we have got settled in the room and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a refresh because um, I've obviously been face down having a massage and I've also been horse riding and had the hat on rubbing all of my makeup off. So I've got like little patches of makeup that I have no foundation anymore. So I thought I would basically get myself ready. However, I also realized I forgot to put my eyebrows on this morning. I was so in awe of how lovely I was looking. <laughs> I've got to put my brows on. So I need to do that too. So I'm basically just gonna refresh everything because we're gonna go for dinner. I have not showered after my massage because I wanted to let all of the goodness of that massage soak in because I had the best massage ever. Like she was amazing. A Little bit of reflexology. Um, I'm gonna have to come back and have some Reiki with her. Just loved every moment of it. And she was so amazing. And it was so funny. She was like, oh, have you ever had Reiki? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know because my um, acupuncturist, um, she does like shamanic rituals and things like that on me. But I, I honestly, I don't know too much. I just love like good energy stuff. And she was like, well, you have some serious energy coming off you. And I was like, oh, do I? And she was like, yes. And I was like, what kind of energy? She was like, good energy. I was like, oh. she's like, no one that, no one with bad energy gets into my therapist room. And I was like, that's good <laughs> but she was just amazing and I've been looking for someone who's really really good at the farmhouse for me to book in with regularly apparently she's got regular clients loved it so um I'm definitely going to do that so I'm letting all of the goodness soak into my skin my skin feels amazing she used the invigorate no energizing body oil that's like orange peel and grapefruit like bitter orange oh it was so good anyway the products that I'm going to use to refresh my face are from Rodeal. Um, I do have a discount code. I know so many of you already love Rodeal. So if you're wanting to pick up something that maybe you're running out of, or if you want to try something new, this is a really good opportunity to get some money off. It's 15%. And there are a few terms and conditions. Usually it is um, like on full price items and not on kits and things like that, or gifts. Um, I'll pop all of the details in the description box down below. But um, yeah, it's Lydia 15, so if you wanted to stock up on your banana low lighter, which is perfect for this time of year, or the glass powder, which comes in this mini pot, which actually, the girls told me this has actually become one of the best sellers because this powder lasts so long. You don't need like the big tub, and I love this for just throwing into my handbag, and I know that so many of you are very, very similar to me in the way that you use powder. Like we're not baking, we're not covering our faces in powder, but we want a beautiful powder that's gonna blur our pores, it's gonna make our skin look like glass skin, make it look really radiant, and that is what this powder is gonna do for you. I am gonna use it now, but I'm gonna get myself sort of a bit refreshed. So first of all, I'm gonna blur in everything that I've got on my face, because I honestly can't be bothered 
to do an, like a whole makeup look again basically so i'm just gonna refresh what i've got and do that so first of all buffy buff a little bit of foundation i'm using the dior prestige micro fluid tante de rose and i have shade 3N, this is my favorite foundation at the moment. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm just using that to just add a little bit more coverage where I've lost it, but it blends in really nicely. So the products that I'm gonna be using on my face is obviously the Banana Low Lighter, the Glass Powder, and the Blush Drops, which this color of Blush Drops is perfect for this time of year just adds like the most instant uplift to your makeup because this is such a bright color i mean it doesn't look bright on your skin you know what i'm like i'm not an intense girl but i do like a good bit of like as if my my cheeks have been pinched so this this does all of the hard work for me it is absolutely beautiful and it also kind of nourishes the skin at the same time so you're getting benefits to your actual skin as well i think it's got like vitamin e in it and things like that so it's it's really good so first things first i'm going to use the banana low lighter i'm not going to use um my one because it's actually gross it's traveled the world with me recently and so i'm going to use a new one so that it looks lovely now this obviously i don't really need to tell you too much about this because i know that so many of you love it but for those who don't know about it, it basically gives you that beautiful lit from within look. It's super, what's the word? It's like super radiant, but bright. So it always lifts the under eye area of my makeup so well and just makes me look like I've had a good night's sleep. Like I'm one of those well rested girls that ate her veggies, drank her water, did her yoga. That's basically how it makes me feel like I look. It just instantly elevates my eye area. So just to show you a before and after, this is before and this is after. Like look at how much brighter my under eye is. Obviously I've not done the rest of my makeup so it's gonna look a little bit intense, but once I've done everything else, you'll be able to appreciate the full look. I just love this stuff and it's always that one product that people are like, oh, I discovered the banana low lighter because of you and I'm so grateful. And that's pretty cool. I have slightly changed how I'm doing my uh, concealer at the moment as well. From watching girls do like makeup on TikTok, I'm lifting my eye using the outer sort of corner. So just blend that in. And you know what I'm like, I don't like to overcomplicate things. So one brush most of the time, especially for like base products, it kind of does it all. Ciao nonna. Ciao bella. Come stai? Bene, grazie a te. Yeah, very good. Very good. Bene. Ma una bella sorpresa mi hai fatto, cara. Tanti grazie. You like it? Yeah, beautiful. Good, good. That makes me happy. Okay, very, very nice. Thank you very much. I like to spoil my nonna. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a nice birthday? Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Love you, Nonna. I love you too. Ciao. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. So that is my under eye section done. I'm looking very bright though. Um, I think it's because I've got like the full view of the window there. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on my tip of my nose. You know the places that I want to kind of get that, that light and draw the eye to. So I'm popping that on there just to refresh the nose area. Now you're filming with me in the background, aren't you? So I'm out of the shower and stuff. Yes. So don't be naked. Don't be naked. You're telling me to tell you to don't be well, naked. If you get naked. If I get naked. If I get naked. Yeah. You've got a lot of vlog that you're going to lose when I delete it. Yeah. So you better just not do that. Get a bit of bronzer on there. A ciao, Bella. <laughs> She's so funny. She is funny. She's literally like the best human ever. Now we are going to go in with the blush drops. Now these, they look intense. They give a really beautiful color payoff, but they just, it's almost like they just intensify your makeup. And also, because they've got the radiance in it as well, it all lends itself to that beautiful glass-like skin, whilst also giving you color and a bit of highlight. So I always pop it there. You can pop it on the bridge of your nose as well to give that, you know, that clean girl trend at the moment. So yeah. Ooh. 
They give you a steamer. They give you a steamer here. Yeah. That is game changing. Okay, that is really cool of Soho Farmhouse to do that. Yeah. Because, because we are now we know. Now we know. We've got a hair dryer, a steamer, and it looks like straighteners. Oh good. That is good. That is very good. So look. <gasps> look at that highlight and it doesn't move your makeup around either I only put a small amount on because I just want the tops of my cheeks but that is that's what it's all about love it so I'm gonna do the same on this side and the good thing is a little goes a very very long way but if you do do too much you can just buff it out it works so well et voila and a bit more bronzer to the schnoodle like that and then I'll use the actually I'll pop a little bit on the back of my hand just to add a bit to my nose but generally just looks so good little bit of highlight and I'm gonna put my brows on shouldn't have forgotten those and then I'll do the last step which is my lips and glass powder to just set the areas where I don't want shine because I always like my skin to look radiant but in certain places I want a little bit more still radiant not chalky a little bit mattified but luminous it's a very special formula <laughs> I like the, uh, color brown got here. Well, why don't you get one because you need a new robe your one's looking ever so tatty well I'm not surprised because you wear it all the time <laughs> Now it is time for the glass powder. This is the pièce de résistance and many times I have zoomed in on my face to show you this actually blur my, blur, blur my pores. I'm going to try and zoom in now because this just never gets old. Zoom you in. You are currently balanced on a glass, a water glass and a cow shed calming shower scrub. So as you can see little bit of uh, texture around here I also am due on soon so I've got I always get like little blemishes around my mouth when um, I'm due on so I'm gonna take my mini glass powder come in even closer and show you how it works there we go a bit more product and that ladies and gentlemen is why you use glass powder because if you look at it on this side those pores versus those pores it's pretty blooming epic so i'm gonna just touch up some little bits of this that and the other and that is my base pretty much finished i'm going to give my waves probably a little bit of a touch up although i'm just loving my hair color at the moment i mean i could be brighter and a bit more blondy but to just be here makes me beyond happy now lips lips i'm just going to use what i've been wearing all day which is the clé de peau lip glorifier with my usual touch of spice lip liner but the lip liner is in my bag un momento por favor And that is me refreshed. And do you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave my hair as it is. I can't be bothered to touch it up because I actually quite like it when the waves have kind of dropped out a little bit and it just looks a little bit too sold. So I'm gonna get my dress ready and head for dinner at the glass house. But whatever you do, don't forget that I've got my discount code for Rodial. It is Lydia15. 15% off all of the terms in the description box down below. You can't argue with that highlight or that like Like how easy was that? It's just so easy. Their products are always so easy to use whether you're doing a full face Whether you're doing barely there no makeup makeup They work with everything and that's why I love them so much I just think they're such a, a cool brand that tries so many different things and Really like works hard to create products that aren't just like gimmicky they actually bloom work and that's I just I love the team as well they are so so wonderful whenever we chat we just speak so openly about the products and how we love them they like they're totally understanding if there's a product that I'm like oh I don't, I don't really know how to use that they're like just use the ones that you love Lydia so that is what I'm doing today using my favorite products and I will link them all in the description box down below but now time for dinner well this is my finished makeup look 
it's not particularly different to it was earlier but I'm finally getting to wear this dress out again because it's not looking like it's gonna rain and it's a, gonna be a lovely evening so we're just heading over to the glass house now um, for dinner and Ali's looking very nice and smart as well. Ali and I have been admiring all of the white alliums. They look like dandy, like giant dandelion um, seed heads that you would just blow and they would just disappear into the into the wind. I love them. They look so delicate. So. And they'll brown up as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. They look so nice. I love these as well. I don't know what these are, but I want these in our woodland. Yeah. Like on the borders of it. I They're love like massive, them. Um, Daisies. Thing. Yeah. Got all of these borders looking so lovely. <gasps> Oh, that smells incredible. everyone. Ali is just in the shower and we are about to treat ourselves to some fresh sourdough. So lovely that you get this little bread bin full of like muesli and a fresh loaf. So we're going to use our julep um, toaster which is what we use at home and some beautiful self-made by Wendy Brandon Preserve strawberry jam which would be lovely. Ali has also said, I think it might be in here or is it in here? He said that the oat milk, is it oat milk? Yeah, oat milk from the estate dairy. Now I don't know if that's if that means here or somewhere else. I'm gonna Google it, but he's like, I would stop having milk for this oat milk. Oh, you're blurry. I'm so intent on telling you that I didn't realize it was blurry. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna Google this now because if this is um, like a real dairy alternative, I'll go to this as well because Ali says it's really good. So I'm gonna Google that. Um, lots of lovely stuff in the bar as well, but we're gonna have some breakfast. We're gonna light the fire, even though it's beautiful and sunny outside, it is still exceptionally chilly. I think it will warm up, but you can't come to Soho Farmhouse and not have a roaring fire in your room. And we have a fire in our um, living room, but it's a different experience to have a fire actually in your bedroom. So. We're gonna get ourselves ready for the day, sit by the fire, enjoy some good jam on toast and um, start the day. So we're enjoying the fresh loaf of sourdough in the breakfast bar. Lydia's gone for some strawberry jam. No, raspberry. Raspberry jam. I literally just held the bottle up. It clearly says raspberry jam and I've called it strawberry. There's the strawberry jam. That's what I'm having. I'm having a strawberry jam. Lydia's gone for Salted butter, raspberry jam, mm. but not too much because otherwise it's too sweet. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweet enough. Yeah, you are. I'm up and ready for the day. We've got flower arranging in about five minutes, so we're going to walk down to uh, the florist's place there. I don't know where exactly we're doing it, but we're just going to walk down there and find out. And then we're kind of just chilling here for the day. We think we might get uh, a sun lounger because it's nice and sunny. I don't know whether it's going to be like warm enough. It's saying 18 degrees, but the sun is shining today, so it's looking lovely here. I had a bit of an interesting night's sleep because I did the really stupid thing of turning off the aircon in the room and I woke up and it was 25 degrees in our room and I was like, oh my goodness. That was completely my error of judgment. I don't know why I turned it off, but apparently I thought that was a good idea. I also had Mr. Mill and Gordon stuck to me like an urchin. So I was constantly like pushing him off me like, oh, you're so hot. <laughs> um, but I actually had a little bit of a lay in this morning and got up about eight o'clock. Um, we've had some sourdough that was in the room, which was lovely. And I've obviously done my makeup as well. Uh, last night was really, really good. We had food from, what were they called? Black Axe Mangle. From Black Axe Mangle. And actually all of it, except for the starter, the like uh, creamy fish, like uh, dip. Called, what, what do you call it, tzatziki? No, it's not tzatziki. tzatziki. No, it's not tzatziki. That wasn't gluten-free, so I couldn't have, have that. So I had a bit of a tomato -y one, which was lovely. Mm. The crisps were amazing. Like if you imagine, a Mackey's crisp and how they're like, it almost feels like it's like two crisps 
joined together with a pocket of air, like a really thin pocket of air, but these were a hundred times better. And it was Callie's husband who said that they um, might be olive oil crisps. Oh, I so I'm, it's a great shout. Yeah, I think we might have to try olive oil crisps moving forward. Uh, but yes, we met Callie Thorpe and her husband, which was so lovely, I've not met them before. And actually it's uh, like a trip of people that we've not met before because about a year ago, I stopped asking who's going on trips because I realized that I was like operating within my comfort zone and always wanting to know that there's someone there that I know. And actually, it's been so lovely going to events now where I actually don't know anyone. I mean, it's nice to have Mr. Mill and Gordon there with me so that I'm not like um, completely like a deer in the headlights, but it's just lovely to meet so many different people as well. We met the Adventures of Us as well. Chris and Sarah. Chris and Sarah, which was just, I've like followed those them for ages and their home, home account. Their home account is incredible. Um, so it was really lovely to meet them. And just lots of other people that we've like, like would never have crossed paths with, I don't think. And it's so nice to have so many different people here. So it was a really lovely evening. I think I had about three or four rosé, rosé wines and soda waters, which was lovely. I love the, the uh, rosé here at Soho Farmhouse because it, they do this like Maison Vincent one. It's the house rosé and it's so, so lovely. Anyway, we're going to get on with our day. We're all packed up. I've packed up all of the lovely bits that um, they left in the room. We were left in like a Soho Farmhouse hamper with some little bits and bobs. And I've also got the Soho Skin stuff, which I'm excited to try. I don't even know what to expect from the, the Soho Skin collection. Have you popped it? You've put everything away, haven't you? <laughs> Ali's like Mr. Pack up everything. But anyway, I can show you those when I get home because we're going to head and do our flower arranging. This is my outfit. I'm wearing my Theory white dress and I popped my usual accessories on with it because I just think this is very, very easy. I've got my cardigan because it's a little bit chilly at the moment. I'm trying to show you in the mirror because all of our suitcases are here. Um, but that's my outfit basically. This is the area where the new huts are. I wanted to show you it in sunlight because it looks so much nicer. It's obviously got a little bit of vegetation to grow in and it needs to kind of establish itself a little bit more. And all of this wood will ash up and look a little bit more like Soho Farmhouse vibes. It's a little bit blustery, so I'm gonna head to the flower arranging workshop. Obviously we showed you around the kitchen garden not long ago but it's looking very lovely in the sunshine and it's come up so much since we were last here. I love this. This is such a lovely little pea trellis kind of thing. <laughs> Mushrooms coming up. Lovely, lovely. We are off to the glass house for flower arranging. It's a little bit blustery today. <laughs> so we've arrived. Look at this setup. It is so beautiful and I feel like these chandeliers are very much my vibe. <laughs> but it looks so wonderful in here. Look at all of these blooms. And then I love what they've done with the cow parsley as well. Like just looks so lovely. We did an arrangement like this um, last year in our kitchen and I want to do one as big as this now with this massive, I'm gonna have to get a vase just like this. Huge, because we can have a bit of height on our kitchen table. So yeah, I'm gonna do this one like this. It looks so good. Look at all of these beautiful alliums, roses, hydrangeas. It's the dream. Go on and let's have a look at what you've been doing. Very nice. What are you going to call this masterpiece? I don't know. What would you call it? What would I call it? You can name it. I feel like if it was a food, I'd call it an eaten mess. And in floristry, I'm going to call it a, a floral mess. No, it's lovely. Oh, <laughs> Tell you what, you're a master of ch chopping off those stems. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. These are very sharp, which is nice. Oh, you're doing well. Let's have a little look, Callie, see what you've done. Oh, yes. I love Wonderful. I like yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. Like yeah, coming on brand on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've picked the eight color. I feel like the high allium's doing it. I know. Yes. Yeah, I love that. And I love that it's got a little bit of a curve to the stem. Yeah. I must admit, it was much too florist. I was like, please help me. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful, babe. Well done. 
Wow, I am seeing the cinema for the first time. I've never been in here. Doesn't that look like the most beautiful setup ever? Wow. We are just having a little explore around, a little window shop, and one of the things I want to incorporate into our new shed design is to have some little potting... Chicken wired cabinetry. Yeah, yeah chicken wired <laughs> cabinetry. Is. I know, I love it though. <laughs> Just to keep all of my pots and vases in, I think this will be so useful. This is at the Soho Home store, but I don't I think they... Can build that. Well then build it for me. Mm, I would, think I could. could you, would, you, would you do that for me? If you can source the wood. Yeah, you get it from Burgess. Yeah. Oh wow, you heard it here first. Ali's gonna make me one of these. Oh my gosh, you got me so excited. Good morning, everyone. I am back home and at my house. I think the last day at Farmhouse probably was a little bit sort of bitty because um, we did the flower arranging and then we just kind of switched off for a little bit, which was really nice. We just sat in the, uh, the main sort of courtyard area and um, we just lounged. It was just, we had a little bit of like a mooch around. We had some lunch, Ali did some work, but because we were in the sort of main um, members areas, we couldn't share what we were doing with you. And we just switched off. It ended up being really lovely and warm. If you are a member of Soho Farmhouse, or any of the houses, but Soho Farmhouse specifically, even on a slightly cooler day, if you sit in the courtyard, because it's all surrounded, it's a real sun trap and it gets really lovely and like warm and so we were sat there the fire was crackling away and it was absolutely lovely but honestly i had the best time and it was so lovely meeting callie because i feel like oh, i'm just like uh, back in all of my accessories but i need to do my hair because i'm going out very very shortly yeah because i feel like callie has absolutely rocked my world like i totally owe this to her basically after the flower arranging class, she was like, I feel like you're like coastal grandma aesthetic. And I've never heard of that. And so I was like, what? Like a coastal grandma? She's like, no, no, no. So it's basically like this aesthetic. Um, it was coined by a lady on TikTok who I now follow. Her name is Lexi Nicoletta. Oh, someone's at my door. Who be that? Barkley squeaking. Yes, so it was um, coined by this this lady called Lexi Lex Nicoletta, and basically, oh, I'm going to need to change my battery. And I'll link her TikTok in the uh, description box down below. But basically, she's like, there's like this aesthetic that basically centres around coastal locations um, in the US, like the Hamptons, I guess. I'm guessing like Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket and places like that. I'm guessing. I don't know too much. I've just kind of like found this thanks to Callie. And I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is a bit of me, but I definitely feel like there is an English equivalent of this. And I've never really thought of like how I live my life. You know how I'm always like, oh, like, like beautiful living. I've never really thought about it as like an aesthetic, but there is 110% an English country grandma aesthetic. I've never got into like cottage core or anything like that. I feel like that's, that is definitely different. Cottage core is different to English country grandma, grand, grandmother, grandma, grandmother, whatever, aesthetic. And I definitely feel like there are some videos that I could do about this, which I think I might do over on my TikTok. But I, I feel like that is the English equivalent of this, they kind of, in America, they really champion um, Ina Garten, who I hadn't heard of, and I know lots of my American followers are gonna be hor horrified over that, but I have now followed her. And um, a lot of films, so I've got like a film catalogue now to go and watch of all of these like coastal grandmother aesthetic films. But in England, this is what I was really sort of, I realised this was an actual thing, because if you think of people like Karen Hibbert, who is the founder of Time, and um, Carol Bamford, they are that traditional English country grandmother aesthetic. And how they live their lives, you know, wholesome produce, beautiful um, interiors, everything's very um, beautiful, curated. And that is, I mean, I follow both of those women. They are very much like a, an aspirational lifestyle that I love. 
And so I feel like this is a bit of a thing that I'm going to sort of delve into a little bit more, like brands that would be considered English country grandmother aesthetic. What does she drink? Where does she shop? What kind of clothes does she love? So I'm gonna, like, obviously this is like the equivalent of what Lex is doing for the, like in the US at the moment. But I just feel like this is so much fun. It's unbelievable. And it was so nice to sort of think of things in that like style of aesthetic. And I just, I've got so much that I want to explore on this and I'm just, I'm so grateful that Callie shared this with me because I'm like, oh wow, I never ever thought of my life in this capacity. So anyway, that is my new favourite thing. Like coastal grandmother TikTok is my favourite thing. And remember what I said about TikTok and I was like really trying to find the kind of content that I like and what I want to follow and just finding content that speaks to me as a person i feel like i'm doing that now and i also feel like i'm curate like creating it myself on there and so i'm having a bit of fun with it at the moment and hopefully i'll be able to find some accounts for you guys to follow as well because i know that that we're all quite similar in that respect in how we like things but yeah i was just my mind was completely blown about that and so hopefully i'll have some videos up or at least like one going up today when this video goes live but anyway today which i'm incredibly excited about she is taking me She's driving me, I'm being chauffeur driven by my best friend in her new car, which I have to show you because she is such a snaz pot. But um, she's taking me to Highclere Castle, which you'll know is um, a, bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a love of mine. And um, I'm going to explore the gardens, I am going to explore the house, and I'm having afternoon tea there as well. This is one of my birthday presents and so that's what we're going to do she's we're going to come back here afterwards and then take the dogs out um to the local pub probably yeah i'm really looking forward to it so we're dressing in lovely summer dresses and driving to Highclere castle so obviously i'm going to do my best to take you like with me here because i feel like we are going to have such fun uh today it's a bit harder at farmhouse because obviously the rules are still in place when we're there um, with the actual farmhouse, but they also like are understanding. And also it's just, the main thing is, is I think that you just don't get any other people in because it's supposed to be a safe haven and a safe place for people to come and be able to, to just relax. So I completely understand it. And we were sat, not last, I think it was last week. We were sat next to a very, very, very beautiful, well-known TV presenter. And um, she was there with her mom and her family and her kids. And it's like, they should just be able to go places and just relax and not be worried about people taking like sneaky photos of them and things like that. So I completely understand it. And whenever I'm there, I'm never wanting to get sneaky photos of other members. I just want to get sneaky photos of me at farmhouse or farmhouse in general to show you how wonderful it is. But it was nice to actually chat to the people, like obviously enforcing those rules and just understand them better, which was really sort of insightful and helpful because I don't obviously ever want to get into any trouble with it or anything like that. So yes, but anyway, we are, I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm gonna get my hair done. Um, and I will see you in a bit when I'm ready. I'll show you my outfit, but I think I'm just wearing my Cara Millen from, uh, the dress from my collection because obviously the weather is drier now so I feel like I can wear it despite the fact that it's a little bit longer on me so yeah and it, I just feel amazing when I wear it so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I have not had a moment to unpack yet so I'm all set and ready to head to high clear which I'm so excited about but yeah I've not had a chance to unpack so I'm gonna do that this evening probably and then tomorrow I've got a little bit of potting to do for house plants yes you can see my deliciously edible hanging out of my handbag <laughs> snacks for the road. I'm just going to do some water and then we're going to head off. But I'm wearing my dress from Karen Millen, uh, my collection and my little Manolo Blahnik pumps. This is just such an easy but lovely outfit for the day and especially when it's sunny. So I've got a cardigan as well in case it gets cold, but let's head to afternoon tea. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the speed wagon is no more. Now we have the snaz machine. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the snaz machine. The snaz machine. Bloody hell, I've made it. I know. This is Carrie's very, very lovely new car with cream leather interior. It's very nice. And it suits her perfectly. It's very, very nice. So I'm currently travelling down to Highclere Castle in 
the epitome of luxury and I could get used to this. I could. You are used to this. Yeah, I am. You're always travelling yeah. in a nice car. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Um, but no, I'm really, really looking forward to it. We've got a nice day at a very, very lovely spot. And I'm very excited to see what their afternoon tea is like. So it's actually in the castle. I don't know. It's said during COVID that they had to put it into a marquee or something to be outside dining. But there wasn't a lot on the website. And I obviously booked it so long ago. Yeah. There wasn't a lot on the website about where they actually host it. Oh, okay. I'm intrigued. I mean, it could be terrible. It could be terrible. But it could be great. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we'll just have Goodness, it's so cool. We have arrived. It is a little bit blustery, so you might not be able to hear me, but we are here at Highclere Castle for afternoon tea to look around the grounds, the gardens, and inside the house as well. I am beyond excited. I'm just imagining all of the times that Carson would come out here. Oh, windy, windy. And uh, the cars would pull up, the guests would arrive. Oh! <laughs> I've only had two glasses. won't enjoy it but we are currently looking around the garden so I thought I would show you the greenhouses this is one of their greenhouses you can see their lovely lemons in there lovely and then there's another one which this looks very beautiful I think the gardens are very beautiful but they're also having a um, like a country fete here at the moment I think it's like high clear show but there is another greenhouse down here which looks very lovely so we're gonna go and check that one out as well oh we've got these in our borders and then we're at the second greenhouse which looks a lot lovelier but sadly it doesn't look like we can go in oh slightly bigger island to my greenhouse uh, outside my greenhouse they've got vines outside as well haven't they yeah. lovely well the gardens are very very beautiful there's lots of peonies white alliums lovely wisteria as well and now we are going through into the secret garden good morning everyone i am back in this spot um after our day at high clear castle yesterday we actually came home we made it home for about five o'clock we ended up basically getting stuck in um traffic on the way there so our time was quite limited there however one thing I will say is that we had a really, really lovely day, but it was lovely coming down the main stairs in the house. You felt, I, I felt like I knew it already, so that was really lovely as well. But yes, anyway, then we came home and um, we decided to walk to one of the local pubs and have dinner. And we went there, had dinner. I had um, a really lovely duck and dauphinois potato, potato, <laughs> potato uh, dish. And then we came back and we watched something's got to give on Callie's recommendation and oh my goodness we loved it the whole way through we were like how have we never seen this film oh my gosh so I know boys it's just mummy having a moment it was really quite special and I didn't know that Nancy Myers uh, helped with writing the holiday so it's probably why I loved it so much and um it really gives you a good insight into the style and elegance of the coastal grandmother, which is obviously this aesthetic that I'm currently really quite interested in. Obviously more so in terms of the English countryside grandmother, because I feel like that sits slightly more in, <laughs> in, in, what's the word, like synergy with my own style. So yeah, it was a wonderful, wonderful film. I didn't realize it was two hours long. So Carrie and I drank wine and had um, dochi balls and had the fire on because it was a little bit chilly yesterday. It's actually quite chilly today. So anyway, I thought I would leave the vlog here because um, I'm picking up my camera straight away. 
and vlogging with you again. Um, I'm sort of sorting out the house today. I've had my delivery from Hello Petal to do some of my uh, pots. I'm either gonna order some more or I'm going to go to the garden center today and pick up a few more plants because I kind of want to um, change up the pots on our patio because they're just looking a little bit tired. I've got my, um, one of the pots is one of the pots that um, Lauren put in and it's got our rambling rosemary. And I wanna find somewhere lovely for that to go. So I'm gonna pop that somewhere and just clear out some old pots and things like that. And then maybe head to the garden center. So yeah, anyway, I'm telling you what I'm doing in my next vlog. I'm not, I shouldn't be doing that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will uh, see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I've got my rodeo discount card, discount, blah, blah, blah. Discount code, it's Lydia15. You can use it on the Rodeo website. All of the, all of the terms and conditions are in the description box down below. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.